Hi everybody, Mike Duffy here. I am at Squaw Valley and uh, as you can see all around me, winter has come back with a vengeance. I've been speaking with the people here who are taking advantage of the slopes um, and they are saying that it's actually pretty, pretty decent for May. Uh, most people are just happy that they can snow or ski, snowboard or ski in May. And uh, they're saying that, uh, you know, there's some pretty good conditions up at the top. Down here it's a little bit uh, soggier, but obviously there's a lot of snow. And we've also been speaking with uh, the people who monitor the snow levels here, and they were telling us that uh, they're planning on having events all the way into July. Um, so they said that that's a pretty rare special treat. Uh, they've had a few opportunities in the past couple of years to be able to do that, uh, but this is also one of their record-breaking years. So it's a great time, and anybody who is here taking advantage of it uh, is all smiles today. We've been uh, trying to gauge, you know, pe people's happiness level because typically when it's snowing in May, people are a little bummed out. But uh, everyone here is a hardcore fan of all these winter sports. And so you can see all around me, it's quite the winter wonderland up here. And uh, people have been heading up at a pretty regular clip. Um, maybe I'll ask somebody, how's the snow up there? It's killer. <laughs> it is so nice. It's really nice. Actually, kind of like the best skiing all season. Really? I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, at least this morning. This morning was great. I'm just doing a Facebook Live for our uh, really ABC cool. 10 viewers. Hi. Can you just tell me your name? I'm, my name's Emma. Emma, and yeah. what made you come out and take advantage of the snow today? You know, I am a student at Berkeley, and I had my last final yesterday, and I just had to send it. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw the weather, like, and it was like, that was it. So. And you've been skiing all winter? Yeah, I'm on the Cal Ski and Snowboard team. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to say something? <laughs> yeah, she does. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so there's a lot of people here who are absolutely taking advantage of this. And would you recommend to the viewers if, that they come up and do the same? Yes, 100%, 110%. This is great conditions. I mean, it was, it's, a little, it's a little sticky later in the day, but if you come early in the morning, So obviously people are uh, enjoying it. Well, I appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, thanks yeah, for yeah. Come <laughs> out. <laughs> so you can see obviously one endorsement for being up here in Squaw Valley. Um, it is May, of course, but we are here just talking to people about their experience here on the slopes. I am shivering and uh, yes, my nose might be running. My apologies for that. Uh, but everybody here is saying that there's great conditions, especially at the top of the hill. Uh, of course, the people here at Squaw Valley are also thrilled that they are able to stay open uh, into May. And, you know, this just keeps pushing the deadline further and further back. It is windy, Susie. It is cold out here. I was not expecting to be in the middle of winter at this uh, point in the year. And I didn't exactly wear the proper outfit for it either. But it's pretty cool up here. I don't know if uh, I've told you before, I'm from Chicago, and yet it gets, you get a little soft living in California. Obviously, the people here, though, have all the right gear. They are prepared for this weather. Um, and the snow is coming down. I'm sure you can see it in the video. Uh, but it had been raining a little bit on and off uh, different parts of the area, but it's all snow up here in Squaw Valley. get the chance or you're anywhere in the vicinity come on up I know that there were some chain restrictions earlier on some of the roads but those have been lifted um, and I have not heard that they are going to be put back in place which means you can get up through here right now and there is some powder here from everything that people have been telling me Alma says crazy weather it is crazy weather um, and you know I would say most of the time people are unhappy to be experiencing this kind of snow in May. Here at Squaw Valley, everybody's pretty excited. <laughs> so we're just hanging out, talking to the people. Definitely my spirits are up after talking to all these people who are hitting the slopes today. Uh, 
everyone's excited. Some people I've heard, you know, have uh, been playing hooky, uh, whether it's classes or work, and uh, they're just getting the what else they can out of this. Uh, it's hard to say some winter season, but it is winter, even though it feels like summer in other parts of the area. could take the kids um, the three-year-old gets car sick yeah no it's it, it, it is a hike for sure if you're uh, in uh, Sacramento or any other place like that but it's definitely worth it if you are a ski or snowboarding lover you have your pick of the slopes today uh, there's a few people out here more than I actually expected but you know you definitely have plenty of room to stretch out all the same they sit down here, and you can see it's a little bit wetter, but up at the top, they've been telling me that it's some good powder. I'm actually learning all the terminology, so if you guys know some of the good winter terminology, tell me. Educate me. I'm, I'm learning as we're here today. I'll zoom in over here, maybe, so you can see what people are up to. Pretty cool. So anybody who is just joining us, uh, we are up here at Squaw Valley, where of course it feels like the dead of winter right now. It is snowing all around us. And this, while this may be a bummer for some people, people here are extremely happy. And they're telling me that the conditions are excellent for snowboarding and skiing. Uh, everybody has just smiles up here. There's a lot of joy at being able to hit the slopes in May. <laughs> in Utah, we call that Utah. That's from Tim. That is pretty awesome. Um, all right, guys. Well, I have to get back to some storytelling, but I just wanted to give you guys a sneak peek at what we're looking at here today and uh, all the smiles on everybody's faces up here at Squaw Valley. I'll see you in a little.